It is good to be here, to be part of this celebration of Pentecost. It is good to be one with Father Bernardino as he celebrates 25 years of ministry, service to the church as an ordained priest. I bring you greetings from the Philippines. I am Archbishop Luis Antonio Tagle, Archbishop of Manila. You see, I have my skull cap. <laughs> I have my way. So please believe that I am a bishop. <laughs> we join the whole church in celebrating this great feast, this solemnity, which is the culmination of the Paschal mystery of Jesus Christ. It is the risen Lord who gives us the Holy Spirit. The gift of the risen Lord, now triumphant, now in glory, victorious, seated at the right hand of the Father, is the Holy Spirit. In the Gospel for today, from St. John, we find Jesus, the risen one, appearing to his disciples, who were still in hiding out of fear for the Jews. And the risen Lord breathed the Holy Spirit on them. According to those who have studied the Bible, this portion of the Gospel of St. John is in parallel to the first book of the Bible, Genesis. Remember how God formed the human being using dust, clay, and then God breathed into it, and it became a human being, it became alive, alive, the breath of God. Now we have the risen Lord breathing again on the disciples. And now it is not just natural, physical life that is communicated, but it is the very life of God, the Holy Spirit. The coming of the Holy Spirit marks a recreation. We are created again. And in what way are we recreated? Oh my. Our contemporary world, when we want to be recreated, we go to the mall. That's recreation. Some go to a massage uh, arm. That's recreation. I'm not saying that those things are bad. But today, we are being given the secret of true recreation. What will create us again? Nothing else but the breath of God, the very life of God, the Holy Spirit. And it comes as a gift of the risen. What happens to someone who receives the Holy Spirit, the very power and life of God from the risen Lord? In the Gospel, we see already the beginnings of the recreation of the apostles. They used to be fearful, afraid of the Jews. But then they became joyful. They recognized Jesus. And this group, this band of fearful disciples, were recreated by Jesus as missionaries. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And this is verified in the first reading. Another account of Pentecost. The disciples were gathered again in the room, the upper room, and when the, the, the Holy Spirit descended upon them, the Spirit came in the form of fire, tongues of fire. The Spirit came as wind, as tempest. The old has to be blown away. 
the old must be cleansed by the fire of God. And they were recreated. Imagine Peter, who was afraid to talk about Jesus to the point of denying Jesus. Now, with the, uh, the rest of the disciples, they started speaking about Jesus, proclaiming the marvels of God accomplished in Jesus Christ. What a transformation. But it was not just any type of speech. It was speech about Jesus. So on Pentecost Sunday, please stop all destructive type of speech. Talk only about Jesus. And when you talk about Jesus, many people will understand you. You will be able to speak in different tongues. Because Jesus is about love, truth, understanding. That was the marvel, the recreation that the people who listened to the apostles experienced. They were amazed. How come these Galileans could speak to us in our own languages? They were uneducated. They were afraid. What is the cause of this? Why do we understand them? Why are they able to reach out to us? What tongue do they possess? It is divine tongue, the Holy Spirit, teaching us a new language, the language of understanding. Husbands and wives, use the language of the Spirit and you will understand one another. Parents and children, open yourselves to the Holy Spirit and you will suddenly understand one another. But if it is by the Spirit of the world, pride, competition, proving myself, then there will be no understanding. It is only by the power of the Holy Spirit that we can recreate ourselves, our families, our societies, into societies of mutual understanding because our common language is about the peace, the love, the truth of God in Jesus. And in the second reading, another recreation. And now it is experienced by the church. The church, according to St. Paul, is like a body, the body of Christ, with many members. But the diversity of members does not lead to division. Because the source of the diverse gifts is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit makes sure that the diverse gifts are brought into a higher unity for the service of all. So Pentecost Sunday is supposed to renew us also as a church community. Let us discover the gifts that are present in us. As for example, I just want to make a, a, an unscientific survey. Who among you have the gift of singing? Please raise your hands. How many have the gift of teaching? A catechist or a school teacher? So there, some are good. How many have the gift of cooking? How many have the gift of eating? Universal gift. Holy <laughs> Spirit. Oh, you see, you have so many gifts. So many gifts. Those of you who are good in mathematics, help, help the Christian community. Those of you who are good in cooking, don't cook only for your families. Cook for the many hungry and malnourished children. Use your gift. You have the gift of teaching. Don't let it, don't let it lead you to bagging. Use it. Use it in, in uh, religious education. 
Lead the confused. Go to the hospitals. Teach them about Jesus. The gifts from the Spirit become truly spiritual when they are used for the common good. And so the church ceases to be just a group of people whose gifts compete with one another. But it becomes a witness to the world that it is possible for people of different languages, different backgrounds, different ages, different economic backgrounds to be together, to be one body, because we breathe one life, the Holy Spirit. Oh, there are many ways by which we are recreated by the Spirit. We are forgiven. We become courageous. We proclaim Jesus. We speak the language of understanding. We are not jealous of our gifts. We offer our gifts for the good of all. And the world, the church, will be renewed. Come, Holy Spirit, renew the face of the earth.